When Tropical Storm Ida hit New Jersey, there was water everywhere. This is wild, man. Including on Route okay. 22 in Boundbrook, where Nick Durla was wrapping up his shift as a UPS driver. And I started to see carnage, like essentially cars, water up to the doors. I see a woman on top of her car. This was the first woman I seen standing on top of her car, totally waterlogged. Help me, help me, help me. And I'm stuck too. Nick was stuck, but he had a big truck and he knew what he had to do. At this point, the water was rushing down the highway like a river. And her car is like moving, floating. So you pulled her off her moving car? Moving car. She probably, I think she got a foot on the wheel and grabbed the mirror and yanked her in. Nick says the water was up to here on his truck, which means the tire was completely submerged. So all the people he was rescuing had to put one foot on the tire, not knowing where it was, and then hang on to this mirror to hoist themselves to the window. Just get him inside, right through this window here. You know, pull him on in. In the end, he'd rescued eight people, including an older couple and a Boundbrook first responder, all of them huddled in the back of the truck. We're broken down. We're pulling people through the windows. Say hello, everybody. Go What's UPS. Up, Go UPS, baby. Go this 22-year-old, once labeled class clown in high school, tried to put people at ease, make them laugh. But then, a new problem. And then inside the truck where we were standing, water rose up to our ankles. And we said, listen, if we don't get out now, then we're going to be even in worse shape than we were before. We're leaving, we're leaving the truck. Yeah, yeah. They linked their arms and waded through chest okay. deep water until they hit dry land and started knocking on doors till they found a stranger to take them in. They gave us warm clothes, put our clothes in the dryer for us, made us food. And the guy who gave them all that, also a UPS driver. Everyone's okay now and Nick is being hailed a hero. It was only his third month on the job. So what am I going to do, let the people float away? You know, I really felt that that was the only thing to do. Reporting from Bridgewater, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.